Welcome back to the winner's bracket of the EMS StarCraft League. Um, we are on a Cosmic's Cosmic Sapphire um, with Xanathar as the uh, Teal Protoss. And in the bottom right, as the Green Terran, we have Ed J. Okay, so winner's bracket. So we hope to see some very straight up stuff. Unfortunately, there is a brief lull in worker production. We don't like that. That should be continuous at the beginning of the game. At least you've... Okay, the, both players are now producing their second worker. But look at this, right? This has been Chrono Boost for longer. That was Chrono Boost for longer than that worker was in production. A lot of that Chrono Boost was just wasted on nothing. Because you weren't continuously producing the workers. That is bad, my friend. You built a pile on the low ground. About now is when you want to put down your gateway. Uh, your opponents put down their barracks in... A location and the gas goes down with it. That's 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 all fine and dandy. The gas finishes up, but like, why is the barracks here? This is a very early forge. It looks like as though there is a probe out on the map. So, I suppose with an early forge and a probe here, it's gonna be a cannon rush, surely. You're just gonna put the pile on here and put some cannons in there, in there expand. Okay. Um, really, you want the pile on like you know here or here, so that if you're going to do it like this, so that you can set your probe up, get a high ground vision, and put a cannon, like, here, you know? What's this barracks doing going here? The second barracks is, like, it's okay to do this, but, like, it's a particular opening, and why are you putting it right there? Okay, immediately we're having a tech lab being put on this, on this, uh, um, barracks. Tech lab first, not really something I'm familiar with. The cannon here gonna be in range of sweet FA, and if you're gonna come up here with the probe, you should be coming up here with the probe with a cannon, like, down here. Because if you set up the cannon pylon duo down here, the probe could give high ground vision, and you could, like, shoot this SCV and in the buildings. So, like, put that, like, here. You know? Put it, like, there. And then get the probe up here. As it is, this cannon is doing sweet FA. And that is not ideal. This is the earliest Ghost Academy I've ever seen. The two minute... So I guess I know exactly what this tech lab first is for. It's for ghosts. This, ma this man's going to rush ghosts. Okay. I've not seen anyone do this before. But I guess it makes sense. Having put down one cannon, the Protoss player decides that's quite enough cannons for one week. They have scouted pretty much... What did they scout exactly? I can check, can't I? Well, they scouted a tech lab first. They, they don't know there's a ghost academy, but that tech lab first is a little suspicious. Reactor first is far more common. So, you know, you're going to be wondering what is going on there if you're going to put a tech lab on your first barracks. Uh, looks like the Terran player is momentarily supply blocked. Um, no workers in production for the uh, Protoss. So, they still have a workers' league, though. That being said, all the wor extra workers are sat here on an oversaturated main, which isn't ideal. The side core coming down at three minutes, that's very late. Uh, um, this cannon, is it's not even in range of the... They must know this is here, right? They know there's a pylon here. Okay. So they know there's a pylon here. Yeah, here comes the first ghost, cloaking being researched. Um... These are some very early ghosts. I'm going to have to wonder what this is for. Um, are they going to, like, build a nuke? Or are they just going to, you know, ghost about in it? You know? I don't know how much damage, a th like, a three-minute ghost can do, really. I can have never seen anything. Here he comes. Stim in production. That's a good use of the tech lab. Okay. I like that. That's good. Um, this command center, nearly done. And uh, this... Meanwhile, the Protoss is expanding to their natural as well. And the Twilight Camps are coming down, so... Guess we're gonna see some upgrades. There are there is one unit on the map for the Protoss. Just one little uh one little uh zealot. Which is, you know, something. These guys have got a ghost, but if the ghost isn't doing anything, what's the point of the early ghost? You know, you should be goofing about with this. If you're doing something for it. You you're know, well done, you got a ghost in less than four minutes, what are you gonna do with it? You know? Warp gate in production, five more gateways in production. That's one way to spend your mineral bank. Uh, your opponents are actually spending their money. This Ed J is spending their money quite well. Um, is this like a build order they've like learned or something that I don't know about? It's entirely possible it is. It looks relatively tight, apart from the fact that it's not building workers. Uh, okay, now they'll learn to know about the cannon. It, 
it will. Uh, okay, here comes the army to kill it. Um, oh, the EMP? Look at that. He actually used the, the spell for something pretty useful there. He just EMP'd the cannon shield so it died faster. That was pretty good. All right. So the ghost has done something. But, like, will it do anything else? There's another ghost. If you look at the units lost tab, uh, that's all that's happened. Two marines have died for an early cannon and a pylon. So that that, that got you a lot, didn't it, uh, Zamathar? You kind of just did, like, the first steps of a counter rush in the wrong part of their base. And they just said, okay, I'm done now. All right. Cool. This is CV sounding idle. Um, these guys, what are they doing? Okay, yeah, we do have a nuke. Okay, so this is going to be early nuke pressure. Um, if you want to do that, you can consider putting down multiple ghost academies. Uh, but I don't dislike this. I think this is fun, right? Uh, I, I do dislike that your main base isn't fully saturated and there are idle SCVs waiting to go back to mining. Again, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. A little tip for you, Ed J. Um, if your SCV is currently building something, if you hold shift and right-click the mineral line with the SCV still selected, that will tell them to go back to the minerals uh, immediately after they finish the building. Alternatively, you can reduce... <coughs> Sorry. You can reduce idle time of SCVs by looking at the bottom left of your screen. <coughs> you can control-click that to select all your SCVs. That are idle and do something else. <coughs> Your opponent's going for a Templar. Sorry, give me a second. <coughs> Sorry, recovering from COVID. Still got a bit of a cough, but I'm feeling pretty good. So the Templar Archive is going to finish up for the Protoss. And Charge is, in, is uh, on its way to finishing up as well. No probes in production for the Protoss, but they still have an 8 probe lead. These are abysmal work and accounts for this stage of the game, I must say, but... Hey ho, there is some kind of army for both players. Um, and uh, there are nukes for one player. As it is, these ghosts going to slip into the base. <coughs> going to get a few shots off. One of them's going to drop a nuke on the natural. One ghost dies. But this ghost here going to drop a uh, drop a nuke in the mineral line. This ghost going to slip in uncloaked and just die. Meanwhile, the nuke comes down. Uh, it seems as though their opponent did not see the nuke because it just killed... 15 probes, which, you know, pretty good value. Pretty good value. Now, losing two ghosts for nothing, ghosts are expensive units. That's not great. But dropping the nuke and actually getting the probes, nice. Anywho. So, it seems as though the response to this is going to be... Do nothing. <coughs> Sorry. Again. Slightly sick still, but mostly recovered. Mostly recovered. All right, so what's the game plan for our Terran now? Well, it seems to be they're going to build a... Uh... The tank finished up? I'd like to see this sieged up. We're going to um, have concussive shells research. Did you research combat shield? You did not. Okay. There are a lot of marines. Combat shield will be a good research thing to research here. You have a medevac, I believe. Yeah, you have a medevac. All right. So... We have that little nuke skirmish done. It looks as though you're just going into sort of a biotank army. There is a um, uh, an observer spying on this, which that's fair enough. You can scan this if you notice it. But if you look at this guy's vision, right? You can see the observer. I don't know if you can see that. But <coughs> very faintly, it is there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. It's easier to see over this orange little luminous light look. So if you notice that, you can scan it and kill it. But again, that's very difficult to see. We are seeing more ghost academies in production and nuke in production. That means certainly there's going to be more nukes this game. You only build multiple ghost academies if you're looking to drop nukes. That's the only reason to do it. As it is for the Protoss, uh, we have Storm in production. Um, which is uh, fantastic to see. I love a good storm against a bio army. But the ghosts, if they get some cre key, uh, some key EMPs and snipes off, could do a number against this. Now the army supply is even, but this medevac drop going in and slash this m this unit walkout going in, leaving most of the army at home. <coughs> so we have to wonder where, where this is going to go. It looks as though, um. Ed J wants to send the 
Medivac drop this way and then send the army that's over here over there, which sounds you know quite intelligent if they are to pull a play like that. Okay, that's a third coming down for the Protoss player, um, which is fantastic. Another nuke in production. So that's uh, we have one nuke already done. And another nuke in production. Engineering Bay coming down for the Terran, which is, you know, good for up inventory upgrades, which given you've got mostly inventory army, you can get a lot of mileage out of that. Um, Storm is about to finish, which is fantastic, isn't it? Okay, look, come on, guys. Just kill each other already, you know? What are these observers observing? Why are your observers observing your own stuff? That doesn't seem right, my friend. Don't put them here. You're getting nothing out of these observers. This observer's giving you loads of information. You should know this attack was coming because you would have seen this roll out. But anyway, the job occurs. Uh, the nuke going to be dropped on all these uh, all these uh, warp gates. I don't really see the point in that. The drop will kill literally every every worker here because either Xanathar just doesn't notice. Or can't be bothered. The ghost's gonna kill itself with the nuke and kill. <sighs> Must have killed the pylon. And about nothing else. That wasn't a particularly good uh, nuclear weapon, my friend. That was a daft idea. But this drop is gonna kill literally every worker in the main before all the marines die, which. <coughs> you must have seen that, Xanathar. You must have known that this was happening before I killed all your workers. Okay, so if this happens to you, uh, put like some units here or something to spot uh, drops coming in this way. And Ed J, don't just nuke four warp gates for and a uh, pylon because that's like no mileage and have the ghost die to the same nuke. Like that's just silly, isn't it? Look at that. You've actually lost more resources than your opponent because of those three ghosts that died. That is grim, isn't it? It's horrible. Right. Anyway. More nukes. Liberator. Uh, factories. Okay. I don't know where your tech direction is going now. But another horrible command. That's good. You do need those to win, Ed J. You <coughs> have a similar army supply to your opponent. But after your drop on the main, you have significantly more workers than your opponent does. As your opponent, your opponents decided to go with, um, choice of tech is Immortals and Archons. Now, Zealot Immortal Archon is a fantastic comp, and I recommend going with something like that at this league. It's very easy to just A-click across a map, but the Stalkers feel a bit out of place here. I don't know why you have about 50,000 Stalkers in this army composition as well. They're only really good if you research Blink and use Blink well. You have done neither of those things this game, I believe. Let's check. Uh, yeah, you haven't researched Blink. So I would suggest just skipping these Stalkers altogether and making that more Zealot, more and more and more Archon. Shield Batch, you're going to go down at the natural. I like this defense. Um, Archon... Is uh, another arc one's done. What else is going on here? Okay, so you're making a billion gateways. That's good. You're make you're using your money to make more production facilities, so you can actually spend it. That makes sense. I think your opponent's been doing something similar. Yep. You've ever got significant min significant mineral banks, so this is the right thing to do. Build more production structures, so you can actually build and spend your money. Otherwise, you can't spend your money. The army's gonna come down for the uh, Terran. It looks like there's gonna be a significant army move out here. It is roughly the same size as the opponent's army and <coughs> i mean <coughs> roughly equal in upgrades i guess really storm and charge to stim uh this upgrade for this i'm uh, seemingly i think what one marauder literally one marauder benefits from that upgrade okay and ghost cloaking for the four ghosts on the map so yeah i'd say about even upgrades well, that's a lot of charge slots benefiting from charge. Anywho. Another base coming down for the Terran. A whole lot of nothing going on. Uh, come on, guys. Just, just fight already. Come on. So it looks like these guys... It looks like the army of the Terran is wanting to engage, but it's getting a bit confused because... I don't know. They're like... I'm thinking about it. Maybe he's waiting for level 1 
inventory upgrades to finish would be smart. Meanwhile, the Protoss army, or rather just the Zealots, are going to do a little bit of a run by and they're going to attack this exposed base here. They will get the SCV. They shouldn't get this because it can fly. The army going to come home. They get the command center, despite the fact it can fly and uh, Zealots can't do anything about things that are in the air. Um, here comes the army. Uh, apparently just going to ignore the Zealots. The Zealots pounce on this one Marine and go for the Armory. The Armory cannot fly. A nuke is being dropped on nothing. Uh, the Zealots are going to come in, uh, get into the main, probably kill some SCVs. The army going to close in on it eventually, but not after the Zealots have gone significant damage to their opponent. Um, meanwhile, the nuke did nothing at all. And, well, they're going to clean up these zealots, but at what cost? Look, your army can't even get inside your, your... Can't get inside, which is just goofy. So these zealots are just chilling. What are these marines even shooting? All right. Um, the zealots going to get cleaned up at last, from the looks of things? This zealot doesn't really know what to do. So all the zealots are dead, which is great for the Terran. But they did get a lot of SCV kills, so now the resource loft tab are looking more even. Meanwhile, these two ghosts um, still having a little peck and nibble away at this uh, base. This ghost's going to get murdered because it's been observed. I guess that's what the observers are for. They can see the ghosts if they try and get through, which, okay. There's a nuke again doing nothing. This uncloaked ghost going to get ripped to shreds. That's just completely unnecessary. Listen to that poor man. He did not like that. Look how, like, the shielding's, like, zap it, all zappity and malfunctioning. That's really cool. A warping going on over here. So after that weird combat, look at Eunice lost tab. You know, that's... it's The Terran has actually lost more now. I've actually lost more in resources now after losing more ghosts and a sizable number of SCVs, even though the opponents lost more probes. Those ghosts are very expensive units, so, you know, very gas intensive. So those are pretty rough to lose in really silly ways that you could have avoided, frankly. That's what the production tab. Well, a, a, a drop into the third, into the well-defended... Why did you just drop your marines into death? Shouldn't you be dropping them somewhere that isn't so well defended? That being said, these marines are going to last a very long time with that many of medevacs. Why are you dropping your marines here? You're just sending your men to die for no reason. What was that, man? You literally just dropped people into a, ba a ball of hungry piranhas, into a pit of lions. That's just cruel, isn't it? Why did you do that? Alright, you got Blink researched at long last. Okay, fair enough. For like the approximately 14 uh, stalkers on the map. Alright. More stalkers being warped in. Presumably to take advantage of this tech choice. Um, your opponent has a mineral bank of about 2,000. Meanwhile, you, Xanathar, have like almost no income. You're going to need more workers, my friend. Your main isn't even fully saturated. Oh, the, the, some shooting going on? Oh, they're shooting their own warp gate because they can't get out. <laughs> Don't, you're going to kill me with this. Why? You locked yourself in because both players have a stupid sim city, so their units are getting all tangled up. How many nukes are there? I don't know at this point. A lot of medevacs full of units. What is happening in this game? I I'm losing the will to live here. Like, you have... Look how low the incant tab is, because although these guys have a decent number of, of uh, workers, well, I say decent, not really decent at this stage of the game, you know, a number greater than 16, there's a bunch of them idle. What is this? There's a crowd around the gas? Like, this is the place to be. Out of all places, the Capulu sector, these guys want to be here. These zealots gonna cut their party short though. Gonna walk into this space and uh, kill many SCVs. Meanwhile, the army, uh, well, uh, exactly five marines being sent to deal with this. But here comes the rest of the Protoss army. 
uh, these marines are not going to stand much of a chance. Now, the army supply is in favor of the Terran. So, in theory, they should be able to clear this up. A nuke is being dropped, but no, but... <coughs> it's being dropped, but the ghost assumedly really dies. The storm going to come down and absolutely massacre this bio ball. Uh, but it looks as though that the trade, the Terran will trade, but we're going to see the better end of this trade, just because they have more stuff. And arguably better upgraded stuff as well. Um, yeah, so the Protoss just lost most of their army to that, which is not ideal, because their army was just smaller. So, you know, attacking into that, not the best idea. As soon as you saw the bigger army, you should have just, you know, buggered off. You should have just turned your tail, turned your tail and fled. Nothing wrong with that. Instead, you lost most of your army for nothing because these siege tanks just blasted into you. And these liberators did nothing because they weren't sieged up. And this ghost got a few kills, I guess. <coughs> so that was a combat encounter, wasn't it? Anywho, with that out of the way, but I guess both players got to lick their wounds and consider what to do next. Now, it is worth considering that the Terran is still ahead and units lost. And that's because... A bunch of their workers just died in that in that scuffle. All right? Look at that. They've lost so many SCVs. Those poor men just innocently slain. You gotta replace those, Ed Shea. Okay. So something I wanted to point out was that Ed Shea has researched a high sec order tracking upgrade, which affects which affects turrets and it affects planetary fortresses. Now here's something I didn't know until very recently. Look at these guys, right? Look how they got that red little light. That only appears when you have the high sec order tracking upgrade. Until you get that upgrade, there's actually a little man in there. So by getting this upgrade that is almost useless, honestly, it almost never gets built, you've actually robbed a man of his job and replaced him with an AI. And that's pretty topical right about now. And it's not cool. So, you know, it's kind of unethical to get that upgrade as well as being, you know, terrible. So consider that, Ed Shea. Maybe don't research that upgrade. Those poor men. These tanks are uh, a bit confused. It looks like the Terran army's going to move out, and considering it's significantly bigger than their opponents, because what have they built since? A dark shrine and a warp prison? Why not just warp in a bunch of units? You've got the money. You know, you've got the infrastructure, you've got the money. Now just do it. Fleet Beacon got to come down, so maybe the choice of tech is carriers. The army decided not to go kill their opponent for reasons that aren't exactly clear to me. Have these liberators done anything? You need to siege them up if you want them to kill ground, Ed Shea. Otherwise, they can't kill ground. And your opponent currently has entirely ground. That might be about to change. And if you let them get do that, you know, they could come back. But if you actually go and kill them now, which I don't think you're going to, that won't be the case. Is even a Banshee here, look? Here comes the army. Uh, the Liberators are going to fly over the army and do nothing. Looks like the same's going to be true to the Medivacs, and all these units inside are just going to die. He drops them down to their doom. <coughs> Suddenly, the army supply looking more even. Here comes the rest of the Terran army. But a lot of it just sort of walking... And the, oh, the storm! Oh, the poor Marines. A nuke being dropped. The, the, the tanks are going to siege up, but most of the Terran army is dead at this point. Small, a small force of Protoss remains. It is hard to say what is going to happen here. I think the Protoss are going to accurate, are going to somehow defend, despite the fact that the army supply was massively in the Terrans' favor. They just flew a bunch of it over a death ball and got it killed. Somehow the Protoss is now in the lead. If you look at the units lost. That is miserable, isn't it? Look at that. One hundred and thirty-nine Marines slain. Do they have families? There is now nothing in production for Ed Shea because Ed Shea, you haven't built more bases so you can mine more minerals with your workers that you haven't been building. One widow mine in production. Meanwhile, your opponent's building three carriers. Now the army supply is going to skyrocket for the Protoss, now they're investing in carriers, and still have this army, and the money to warp in as many units as they want. While you threw away your army by dropping them into a pit of hungry piranhas, and... Uh, flying it over without sieging up the Liberators, and then trickling in your Marines like they were little coins you throw in a wishing well. And before you know it, boom, you have 139 Marines dead. That's a tragedy, that is. That's a massacre. That's what we call that. That's the kind of thing you write about in history books. You have sent your men to die, and for what? 
Well, now your opponent has a significant army advantage, Lee. Army, army supply advantage. You had the game in the bag, Ed J. And now your opponent's just going to kill you, presumably. I think that's what's going to happen. Gosh, we are 25 minutes into this game. This is just a slow burn, isn't it? Ugh. This gas guy's a mind out. So is this one. This probe doing nothing. But you, you, none of you have any pro, have any workers. And those workers are doing very little. You have no income. Uh, a bunch of DTs have come to kill a bunch of your, like, the SCs at your, like, last remaining mining base. And you're going to tap out. Gosh, that was miserable. 1-0 to our good friend, uh, Xanathar. And let's just hope for my sanity and for everyone else's watching, the game two is not as miserable as that. Ed J, the commander, flushing their units down the drain. GG. GG.